Greetings to all fans of big numbers. We've prepared a special Sea Smackdown episode for you today. The player from the European server with the nickname that has six X's and a blogus in the middle is making history in the world of warships on their flawless midway. The game starts with air reconnaissance to help the accompanying Hindenburg and Montana locate enemy ships in the vicinity of Key Area A. A good example of cooperation in a division. While fighters were circling over the area, a torpedo bomber group rushed to Key Area C, which was being captured by... Look what we have here! A Shimakaze. The Japanese destroyer was overconfident about its concealment abilities. It wasn't a good idea, though. Quick spotting and a lightning-fast attack. The destroyer's late attempt to use smoke was in vain. First blood, devastating strike, and a ticket to port for Shimakaze. A perfect start. Two key areas are ours. The third one is being captured by the Allies. We're leading by points, and we deprive the enemy of their only destroyer. Noticing a pair of battleships that separated from their allies, the aircraft carrier decides to attack them. The first bomber group sets a fire on Musashi. However, while our hero was busy with enemy fighters, the Japanese battleship managed to extinguish it. But not so fast. The second bomber group set the battleship's deck on fire again. Meanwhile, Tirpitz grinds on to Key Area B. However, the German battleship didn't learn the lesson taught to Musashi. Our torpedo bombers are heading to the enemy. The first squadron launches four torpedoes, causing 27.5 thousand points of damage. The second squadron, another four torpedoes, and another 27 thousand points of damage. The Allied cruiser readily sends the German battleship to port to study the fundamentals of safe play. Meanwhile, our fighters are engaging in a dogfight not far from Key Area B. And the bombers decided to test out the damage control party on Musashi that will definitely be awarded the title of Honorary Barbecue after the battle ends. Let's provide fire support to the Allied Montana now. It's high time to release Musashi from her suffering. The Japanese battleship becomes the second frag for our aircraft carrier. Our hero has already scored 177,000 points of damage, plus the arsonist and witherer achievements. After a successful torpedo attack, another Tirpitz goes to port. Is it a tradition for Tirpitz ships or something? While the aircraft carrier was bravely fighting against enemy battleships, our allies defended two key areas, which gave us the advantage in points. 663 to 200. However, the situation with the number of ships isn't looking so good. We're already four against seven. With indignation, our hero turned to the enemy Grosse Kierfurst and used the proven tactics. Bombers, fire, and a high caliber medal as a result. Sending another two torpedo bomber squadrons. One air group attacks Kierfurst. The other, the enemy North Carolina. The AA guns of North Carolina effectively responded to our attack. And only two torpedoes hit the target. On the other hand, Kierfurst got five hits and went to port as well. The fourth frag and a Confederate medal. Another ally goes down and only our division stays on. Three versus five. Our midway has been spotted, and Henri IV attacks the aircraft carrier. The flight deck is on fire. Must do away with this bloodthirsty French vessel immediately. The Allied Hindenburg comes to the rescue. The attack by two bomber groups wasn't a success, but torpedo bombers know the tricks of their trade. Two hits. The Allied Montana sinks Henri, but our Hindenburg goes to port. Two against four. We still lead 770 to 405, but key areas B and C already belong to the enemy. Montana came under crossfire delivered by Charles Martel. 
The Allied battleship is being battered by bombs and torpedoes despite the active support of our fighters. Our torpedo bombers again succeed in breaking through the dense fire of North Carolina's anti-aircraft guns. Three hits. The commander of the enemy aircraft carrier manages to perform the same maneuver. And our last ally is no more. Big kudos to Montana, which manages to finish off Charles Martel before she perishes. Surprisingly, even now we lead by points. Eventually, our aircraft carrier remains alone against three enemy ships. Last hope of the team. Now's not the time to give up. You ought to fight till the last second. Sending two bomber groups. North Carolina is the target. The US battleship is moored to an island. In the heat of the battle, this gift of fate can't be ignored. Another perfect performance by our commander. Three fires, and North Carolina becomes the fifth ship sent to port by our hero, Kraken. We've been spotted again. Sneaky New Orleans is here. She produces a salvo. Enemy bombers dive from the sky. The deck is on fire, but the damage control party has been reloaded and waits for orders. It's too dangerous to let the cruiser stay behind, so our hero decides to start with it first. Perfect result. New Orleans retreats for a while. The enemy midway heads towards the last key area. Less than two minutes remain. The score is 950 to 665. Bomber and then torpedo bomber attacks result in more than 30,000 points of damage. But the area is still being captured. Enemy aircraft also attack our hero. This is the most dramatic duel between two aircraft carriers I've ever seen. Less than a minute before the game ends. Another effective attack by our Midway. Three fires are set on the flight deck of the enemy aircraft carrier, and the torpedo bombers have their last word in this tremendous fight. Oh yes, frankly speaking, after this video, I was inspired to level up my Midway and perform something similar to what our hero did. Almost a million credits, seven medals, almost 4,000 points of base XP, and an incredible 446,000 points of damage caused. Triple X Bloggist Triple X receives doubloons, the C Smackdown commemorative flag, and a loud applause from the admiring audience. Well done. And if you, my friend, could do something like that, don't hesitate to send me your video.